Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today I want to show you a brand new feature that's available through Premium Access which is called Live Graphics. Now this allows you to bring in graphics using some powerful animation tools to do things like this for example. So let's dive in and take a look. Okay, here we are in the TriCaster TC1 interface and if you're a TriCaster user, you're probably already using one of the many templates available to us to bring in lower thirds or graphics using our transitions like this for example. But with live graphics, you can do a whole lot more. So once you've downloaded premium access from newtech.com, simply launch into one of your sessions and click on the buffers tab at the bottom right of your screen. And you can use our live graphics in any one of these 10 buffers that we have. So let's go ahead and I have my downstream here number one signed up to be buffer number three. So we'll click on the plus button. And in our media browser, you'll see that we have a huge selection of different live graphics to choose from now. So I'm going to go ahead and select just this one randomly here, uh, concentric. And let's bring that on screen. Cool. So right now, this is just kind of down and dirty. This is the default way that this is going to look. But you'll notice that I have that cool spinning logo over there and also fields to bring in different information on the top bottom, also to assign uh, a photo to it if I need to. Now, uh, with the uh, live graphics, you can customize this a few different ways. So the first one is uh, under buffer three, you'll notice that same thing with live graphics. There's a text field here. If we click on that, I can go through and either embed data link codes from a scoreboard or from, say, Google Chrome, or I can simply just type it in here. So I'll go ahead and just type in my name, my job description, and I can go through here and change this to bold, I can italicize it, even change the sizing and the font directly from this window here. Now, uh, let me show you how to bring these animations on and off screen. So once you have it assigned to a buffer, we're gonna leave that on screen and click on the gear icon here. And when I do that, you'll notice that I have two different areas for presets. So with our layer presets, that allows us to cycle between different animations and then our data presets allow us to cycle through different data fields. And we'll get to that here in a bit. But let me go ahead and show you how this works on the layer presets. I'm going to just click on off so that takes everything off screen. So get out of here. And now let's bring it back on using these layer presets. So this is how you're going to be bringing in your live graphics. So we can go ahead and cycle through these different animations. You'll notice that I have a bunch of different uh, layers to choose from here, like this uh, live logo above me. Uh, I can also get rid of that and just bring in back some other graphics here. Uh, or get rid of it altogether and use just the, the live graphic and also a field over here for bringing in an image. Now, I want to customize this a little bit here. So let me go back to our lower third. And so right now I have my uh, lower third, I have this live graphic, and then also this uh, little picture icon here. But I don't really want that in here because I'm already on screen. So let's find a way to edit that out. So for that, let's click on Edit Title. And going back into the Edit screen here, in the top of this screen, you'll see a area for layers. Now, if I click on that, you'll see a drop down of all the different layers we have to choose from that we can bring on and off screen. So for example, this bug over here on the left allows me to either just have the graphic or a field for text, but I don't want that either. Let's just go through and take off this little photo uh, template here. All right, let's get rid of that. Boom, done. Okay, so now we have this baked the way that we want it to look while we're on screen, but let's go ahead and save this so that we can recall that using our layer presets. To do that, let's click presets. And I can either overwrite one of the ones that's already in here by default, uh, or I can just assign it to number 16 here. Do that. And then I can rename this as which are lower third. Boom. Okay. Now, uh, now I can go through and change these around and then recall that with just a touch of a button. So this is going to be perfect for using Live Panel, which also comes with premium access, so that you can assign a macro to these and then just click these buttons onto your Live Panel on your uh, set builder 
directly from there. Now, uh, that's just going over the layer presets. Now let's take a look at these data presets. Right now you'll see that I have uh, three set up right now, which say session, date, time, uh, and breaking. But I want to save this particular data preset to number two here. So let's click on the camera icon here. All right, let me right click on it and put my name. Now, whenever I choose from any of these different animations, this will still retain the information that I've entered into it. Now, if I want to, I can have different data set up to where I can just click on those buttons really quick. So for example, let me click on date and time here. And now that has updated my name now to reflect the date and time. So I can go through and assign pretty much anything to these data presets and allows you to free up your media buffers so you don't necessarily need to make a buffer for each individual that you have coming onto your broadcast. You can just set this up under one buffer and then use the data presets to cycle through different speakers or data that you want to display on screen. All right, now that was an example of bringing in either graphics or a bug or say a lower third using live graphics, but you can also use live graphics to bring in full screen animations. Let's take a look. Okay, so back in our TC1 interface, I have downstream keyer number one assigned to my buffer number four. So in buffer number four, let's click on the plus button and under our media browser, go and navigate under live graphics and let's choose one of these full screen animations from here. Uh, so I'm going to click on storm warning and let's bring that up to program because the storm is brewing y'all and it's called live graphics. So let's go in and customize this animation to look and echo exactly that. So let's click on the gear icon in the bottom right corner buffer four, click on edit title and let's go through here and just replace the text. So okay, live and graphics and boom we got that updated immediately on our program. So from here, uh, what I also want to do is let's go ahead and save that preset here and preset number five, and we'll call that live graphics. So now I can easily switch between the two different data fields if I need to. All right, now the, what I also want to do is let's just do something a little bit more customizable here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and under layers, I'm going to get rid of the text fields and then also the background and let me save that to number three here. So cool. Now I can make my program electrifying by simply taking out all the different layers on that storm. So uh, again, this is going to be a great way for bringing in uh, different graphics, different animations into your production to liven up your productions and make it look a lot more dynamic. Now, if you like this demonstration but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com demo and sign up for a personalized demonstration by yours truly, and I will show you all the ins and outs of the TriCaster TC1 systems. And also, if you are on Instagram, check us out at newtech inc, newtech inc, and simply tag us in your post. We'd love to see how users are using their TriCasters to bring their productions to life. Until then, thank you for watching. And be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.